What's up, Joe? It is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're just going to take a quick look, see what we can find. So uh, when I put your name in over here, Joe Egan Painting is the only thing that popped up. Now, it does look like you do not have a website, and that might hurt your chances of being, you know, seen. Um, for example, I'll show you that in a second. But right over here, Joe Egan Painting, this is a GMB or Google My Business Profile. Now, 30 to 40% of all business does come from a GMB if it's listed as number one, two, or three when people put in a generic search. So um, just off the bat, you know, just things I'm looking at is you have a five star rating, but only one Google review. We need to up that, right? You got to get way more views. You got to be answering them as well. You got to get more pictures on here, about 25 minimum. I like that you have, you know, closes 8 p.m. You have your phone number. You have your address. That's fine. Um, I mean, without getting into too much, you know, crazy stuff. But yes, at least you have a GMB. But let's take a look at something else, right? We're going to just type in, you know, Painters Philadelphia. Painters. Philadelphia, uh, or you know, let's 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 do Havertown as well. Painters Havertown, PA, boom. All right, so let's see. So we got Serta Pro Nolan, Mike's Mike Jasinski, Fox Company. Let's take a look and see if we can find yours in here as well. All right. So, oh, Joe Egan Painting, you are number five, six. Well, there are ads, so those don't count, I guess. But Nolan, Mike, Fox, McGeeboy, and Joe Egan. So you are here. And on here, it shows that you have 11, which is a lot better than one. So I don't know what the hell is going on with the other one I was looking at. But okay, this is a lot better. Maybe you have two. And uh, I was just looking at the wrong one, or I have no idea. But I do like that you have that as well. So you're a little outside of Philadelphia. I live sort of in the area over here as well. Um, to, I wouldn't say here, but like, I guess, eh, Radnor or something like that. Anyway, closer to Conjure Hawking, I guess. Um, but... All right, so we have yourself a GMB. That's great. Problem is, is you're number five, which means people aren't going to see you because people are lazy and they don't want to click on the second one. So these three people are going to get all the business. That's a problem. And then you have your organic search. So Havertown is more of a smaller area. People always refer to the biggest area uh, around them. So I put in a search, Painters Philadelphia. And this is what pops up. We have Math the Rathgab. Oh, I looked at them yesterday, I believe. They were doing pretty good. Umar, Paint Philadelphia, and then you have your organic search. So we have paintphilly.com as the first one. That's actually a sub page that we're looking at. This isn't their main page. But if we were to go to their main page, it would be this. But that's not what's ranking them the highest. What's ranking them the highest was that sub page. So uh, basically, website here, they have all of their stuff listed. Services, service areas, why else, portfolio, blog even. They got a lot. Um, and they do have their number over here, which is good, and then all of their other places that they are located on. So they're they're basically shouting from the rooftops as much as I could so that everyone can see who they are. Um, but then as you scroll through, they have ads, they got videos. A lot of people don't care for videos, uh, especially when they're testimonials. Interior painter, painting exterior cabinet. Unfortunately, yes, it's links to other pages, but they're not telling you what it is that they do, and that's the problem. Huh. I lived in this area. I lived in this area. I've lived in this area, almost moved to this area, and then I moved all the way down to uh, way further down here to Virginia, Norfolk, Newport News. But anyway, um, almost moved to Richmond too. Uh, what I was getting at anyway is that you have a, they cover a lot, sure, or I believe that's just all the jobs they've done. And then this is where they're hidden, Bucks County, Delaware County, Montgomery County. Um, you know, so they're, they're hitting a wide range of areas. Which is great. Painting contractors are the one with an on time and on dime guarantee. Short and then five years. Okay, good. Now they're talking about what they do. Good, 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 good. So they finally do something. Free color and design consultation with every house and project painting. So just kind of walking you through what they're doing. Uh, painting company with that. Okay. Again, so much talking about who they are and less talking about what it is they do. You basically want to take everything on your website as far as services go, put them on the front page and let people decide. You know, you want to use this as a tool. Go on the website. Find what you're looking for, click on the call button, right? But if the call button isn't scattered throughout, then what is the point? People are lazy, and that's really it. So let's take a look behind the scenes. I'm using a tool called Ahrefs, which lets me see why they're doing well. Now, again, this is a back page, so it's not even their main page that's ranking as the highest in the area, but this one is. Why? So they have a UR rating for this uh, specific page that's doing really well, 14. Um, we want it in the 30s and 40s typically. Same thing with the DR rating, which is how much Google trusts them. Now, this back page alone only has 22 backlinks. Now, a backlink is where somebody can, you know, you have your link out there, somebody can click on it, and a referring domain is when it comes back to you. So 
probably most of these aren't very good domains simply because um you know not all are created equal you got spammy reviews and and blogs and stuff like that from like uh, uh, uh what do you call them buzzfeed and wikipedia so we don't really care for those that much we want really strong ones like good blogs that have relevant information for what people are looking for and then finally you have organic keywords now the keyword is something somebody would put in google to find you for example house painters philadelphia 250 people a month search for that He's getting over 10% because he's in position three for it. Painters Philadelphia, 1,000 people a month search for it. He's getting over 10% because he's in position four for it. As you can see, these are very specific, right? These are what we call keywords because people will put them into Google, but they're more important. They're called buyer intent keywords because not only are they looking for a painter, they're looking for a very specific area as well, Philadelphia. So any variation of these kind of things is what you want. Even Philly Painters is really smart. 100 people a month search for it. He's getting 10% because he's in position number three. All of these are very much buyer intent keywords, and that's what you really want, except for this guy, right? This is what we would call an international keyword, because anyone in the world can search for it. Exterior painting companies is not location specific, so it's not going to help him. So yeah, he's 2,000 people a month search for, and he's getting eight people, but he they can be in Cincinnati, Ohio. We don't know where they are, but this one's better, right? 80, 8, 4. As you can see, it's typically 10% the higher you get, maybe even 15, 20. Interior paint contractors, again, international keyword. We don't care for this one, because... Yeah, these people might not be in the in the area. So just kind of like a back end idea of what's going on. So how does this really help you out? Right? All we gotta do is if you have a website that I did not find, great, we gotta get a website. You know, that that is where you can find a lot more uh volume coming through. As far as beating these guys out, it's not that difficult. All you gotta do is just get a lot more back end uh like content. You need more content, right? Well, you need content in general because you don't have a website built. But content for the website, keywords for the content. Remember, it has to all be relevant, and then you got to do the back end stuff for those uh, back links, which you can take from your comp competition. It's not not that difficult, or or even you know you know just kind of finding it from them, seeing what's working, and just taking it uh, for yourself. But anyway, that's all I got. I really hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach back out. Other than that, you have an amazing day. Bye.